What's going on? You having a party or something? Surprise! Aw, oh, you guys. It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. Like it? I love it! Hey guys, it's Nintendo Hawk. See so ya. Yeah, this is our second part. See so ya. Yeah, let's get started. Let me turn on my music. See so yeah, this is the second part of our review. See so ya. Yeah, let's review last time. Okay. Last time we talked about the wisps. We gave the wisps a 3 out of 5. And we showed you two pictures. And we said the whips were not as addictive as some colors, but they were still fun overall. But they weren't a bad add on after all, so I don't know what I was thinking about at the time. And I showed you guys a video. In the speed, I showed you guys another video about the speed too. And I showed you pictures of games that had different types of speeds. Like Sonic Lost World had the classic type of vibe, and Sonic Generations had the boost. But don't go yet. Last time I said to speed, do not compare the speed to Sonic Generations on Sonic World. Because they all had different intentions and then their speed. Now this game is more for Sonic Classic fans, but also for hardcore fans of the series. And this is also comparing this and people compare the speed of Smart and Sonic in this game. And Sonic had the same speed as Mario in the game. But you do realize the speed dash is speed. So if you guys do not know how to use the spin dash, probably that's why you guys are saying that. And overall, the speed was just more for classic Sonic and Sonic Adventure 2 vibes. And the last time I showed you a video. And this was the, I told you guys last time this was the last video. And in the intro, I showed you guys Sonic Generations. I showed Sonic Generations cutscenes. And I told you, and I showed you pictures of Rouge and Shadow interacting with Sonic and the enemies interacting with Eggman and Sonic. And this plot is more darker tone. We haven't seen this since Sonic Shadow the Hedgehog. But the dialogue gives more variety, which is why I give this the plot 4 out of 5 rings. And overall, the dialogue is perfect so many levels. It was even better than the speed. So, yeah. It's better than Sonic Generations, in my opinion, but Sonic Generations was for different intention, so I I don't think this is proven to be true, but Sonic Generations was more to an intention, rather to, it was Sonic's birthday, that's why I'm going to point out, so Sonic's birthday, it was a different plot, so I think the plot on Sonic Generations was good, it deserved the 3 out of 5, but this deserved a 4 out of 5. I'm not kidding. And overall, this game, overall, let me show you overall. And I got some pictures to tell you, and got Sonic Lost World, we got Super Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Heroes, a Sonic Adventure 4 um, picture made by Fan, and Sonic Skateboarding. These are the pictures that represent Sonic Lost World. But overall, I give this game a 3.5 out of 5. Which means 8.5 out of 10, which is pretty good for, especially. Well, IGN, here's why. 
The game spore from IGN GameStop got people shocked. 8.5 to 8.5 to IGN and GameSpot is bad. What it really means is you don't really need to review the game. IGN didn't specifically review the game right. And GameSpot didn't do the game right. They never explained it well. They never gave facts. You need facts to back up your point. Unless I disagree with you. 8.0 to 8.5 is the right score, not 5.8. 5.8 it's mediocre. Mediocre is not good, especially for a Sonic, Mario, and Rayman game. But 8.0 to 8.5 is what we expect from those franchises. This is why this is why IGN and GameSpot didn't go into detail on how these are bad. It's like was the worst. They weren't they're just talking about how the game was bad. They weren't actually explaining what about the plot. What about the wisps? You didn't mention the wisps. You all you did all you did mention was something ridiculous. And if you compare this game to Sonic Generations, and they both have different thoughts and ideas, why would you do that? And this entire game should deserve a 3.5 out of 5, 8.5 out of 10. I just didn't go into detail about it. So yeah. And thanks for watching. Please like, comment, favor, and subscribe for the latest Nintendo news. So yeah, we got a picture of Kirby, we got Pikachu, we got Animal Crossing, got Smash Bros. to Mew, we got this, and we got Mario returning, we got Smart 3 World, we got Link, and we got Song Adventure 2. So yeah, these are all the Let's Plays I'm doing so far. If you'd like to join them, just make sure to subscribe for the latest news and comment and like and favorite it really helps out a ton and when you check out my let's plays it increases the availability that I might like to record 9 to 10 videos a day and post them the next day so I'm gonna post this video today later today the Halloween special and super the Halloween special and Smash Bros. Million Classic were doubted as not going to be uploaded so yeah thank you so much for watching um and i sh and i'll go into detail so thank you so much for watching make sure to do all that stuff it says up here and when you do that stuff it helps you know that you guys want pokemon x and y let's play even though there's several of them um i don't know if i want to do reviews in the future but maybe i want to if you don't want to, I'll be doing the reviews and I'll be doing Let's Plays if we can do the reviews. Awesome Gamer 67 will be doing the Nintendo News and eShop updates. Link 67 will do and Amber Fan and all those people who joined our Nintendo Hawk community. They will be doing all this stuff too. And if you guys wanna battle if you guys wanna see these, you know, just go to my channel, click the channel uh, the channel above the subscribe button hit that like and favorite all that jazz and i'll see you guys next time peace nintendo rocks